I suppose have some games. Hey guys, welcome back to Classic G Body Garage. Got the 79 Calais back out. It's been about a year, actually, maybe even exactly a year since this car has been back out on the road. Uh, last time I drove it was uh, the only time I drove it last year, and that was at the uh, Dick Miller Nationals at Norwalk Raceway Park, and that is uh, where I ran this car in the stock class and uh, ran the elimination rounds, and I actually won. And if you guys haven't seen this car before on my channel, if you're new to my channel, uh, I will go ahead and post links within this video like I always do. And this is the car that I uh, put the 403 in it. Uh, bought a 78 Cutlass uh, parts car, and I bought the car to part it out. And the car also had a uh, 403 in it and turbo 350 transmission that someone had put in it. So I uh, pulled that out, made sure it ran good, uh, painted, it, painted the uh, engine up, and put it in this car, and also put a 342 uh, posi rear end in this car. So what I'm gonna do, I'll do a quick walk around just to show the people who uh, have not seen this car yet. Uh, make it a real quick video, and I will be taking it back to uh, Dick Miller uh, Olds Nationals tomorrow. I'm gonna post the video, uh, same day post. Uh, it's July 26th, and the uh, race is July 27th, so hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. But it is a uh, 79 Cutlass Calais, all original car, 80,000 original miles. Uh, it's got a blue steering column in it because uh, someone tried to uh, help themselves to my car and uh, tried to steal it but didn't get it. So I had to replace the column and they didn't get it because I put kill switches in all my cars and that's what saved it. So here's the 403, uh, pretty much original. I don't know if any work has been done to this engine. Uh, when it idles, it does uh, sound like it has a little bit of a mild cam in it, but it's hard to tell because I I'm running single exhaust on this thing. So, uh, you know, I basically did this motor swap in this car, uh, just uh, how the factory would do it. Just, I put it in exactly uh, uh, to stock specs, ran all the wiring, hooked up the AC, and uh, just painted it blue, made it look all nice and pretty in there. So, it's a real, uh, got thunder going on gonna rain here soon uh, yeah it runs real strong like I said it has single exhaust so it's not breathing like the way it should you know I could put headers and uh, cam and even upgrade the cam that's in it even better than what might be in it and uh, dual exhaust and I'm sure it'd run a hell of a lot better but it's an all original car and uh, it looks pretty decent and uh, it runs really nice uh, best run I got was 1470 and we'll see uh, what it can do tomorrow. So the deal was last year with the uh, Dick Miller uh, Olds Nationals. Actually, let me start start this thing up for you. For uh, those of you who have not heard this car, the deal with the, with uh, with with the uh, the winner of uh, the stock, the modified, the pro, whatever class it was. If you were the winner of your class, then. Then you got your car and your name on this year's t-shirt. So I thought that was pretty cool. So what I'll do at the end of this video is put up the artwork uh, that I pulled off the Dick Miller website and show you guys what the t-shirt looks like. And uh, we'll see if I could win another trophy and get my name on next year's t-shirt. So if it doesn't rain like it's supposed to tomorrow, uh, I'll be running this car and see how it performs and see if I can win the stock class once again. So here it is, just fired it up. And like I said, it's nothing, nothing too special. Had to put a new fan clutch on it. The, uh, it was running hot. The old fan clutch puked all of its fluid out of it. So it actually uh, left a puddle on the ground. So I had to put a, a new fan clutch on it so it's running nice and cool now. And uh, you can hear the... Uh, so it's got a little bit of a, a rumble, I guess. So it's hard to tell if the uh, camshaft is upgraded or not. So there you go. 79 Cutlass Calais with the 403 Turbo 350 Trans shift kit and 342 Posi rear end. Ugh, get underneath there so you can see the rear end. There you go. 
All right, guys. Well, make sure you stay tuned to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe, and uh, go ahead and post a comment, and uh, check out the artwork on the uh, T-shirt at the end of this video, and also be watching out for videos of me running this car at the track. Talk to you guys later in the next classic G-Body video.